so new vlog coming up and I thought it was a great chance for me to do a um, Liverpool Roma preview for the first leg uh, I'm in Qatar in Doha it's Monday and uh, the game Liverpool Roma is tomorrow uh, I'm gonna be in the studio at the uh, Bean Sport um, for the game but I think it's a good opportunity for me to now to put in a vlog my thoughts uh, how I think the game is gonna play out especially in the first leg because it's a massive massive game and um, oh, nice one. and uh, for me personally it's it's a game that is really hard to choose uh, a team who's gonna win who I want to win it's a, a semi-final which it's hard just to to really see um, the outcome of, especially with the love I have for both clubs, the love I have for the fans, how much the fans meant to me, um, both on and off the pitch, um, and obviously it's just a difficult game for me to 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 pick a winner. And for the last since the draw was made. My Twitter, my email, uh, my phone has been non-stop uh, about journalists, especially from Italy and the UK, uh, asking for my opinions, uh, interview about Liverpool, Roma, uh, strengths, weaknesses uh, for both teams, and of course Sala, who's coming back to Rome uh, again. So I thought it was better to make a vlog, uh, so I can express my feelings, uh, how I think it's, the game is going to be. You never know in football. But uh, in the first leg, um, first of all, it's, it's two different teams. I mean, Italian league, English league, different. Uh, the way Liverpool play football is different to what uh, Roma is playing. Um, but in the first leg at Anfield, first of all, it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere at Anfield. The cup, the whole crowd is going to be sensational. European nights at Anfield is special. Uh, under the floodlights, uh, the grass is wet, uh, it's going to be incredible. Uh, sadly, I, I'm not there uh, live, but I'm going to be in the studio watching it, commentating it. Uh, I'm very excited for the game. Uh, and I'm sure, no, I know 110% Roma players, it's going to be amazed by the support uh, Liverpool's going to get in that game. And that could be a crucial factor. Uh, the fans, they're going to give the Liverpool players so much energy. Uh, to win the game uh, the players will run they will fight for the team uh, and I think it's very very important for the Liverpool players and the team to have a good result going to Rome the week next week um, first of all uh, Rome, uh, Liverpool's approach should be play the football they play it all season put pressure for, on Roma especially defence the front three is going to make some damage for sure um, they have to just keep going. Uh, I remember when I played in European nights, it was always attack, 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 uh, and Liverpool should really go for it. But have to be careful. Uh, Roma is a good side. Italian side knows how to defend, stay compact, uh, take the chance when they get there. Um, and the, one of the most crucial thing for Liverpool is to keep a clean sheet. Uh, Liverpool can score any game. Home and away, they always score. It seems because of the front three, how they play football. Um, so for Rome, for Liverpool's uh, side of it, keep a clean sheet and try to get a goal or two advantage for the away leg. On Roma's part, I think it's very important to try and to try and get a goal, an away goal. Um, try not to lose too much of the game. Obviously, try to win, but I'm pretty sure that Roma is going to go into the game with a different approach that I normally have in the certain games um, they know how big game this is for the for the club um, so try to not concede early they know it's going to be under pressure from the from the first whistle um, and I hope and I think they're going to try and play the Italian way stay compact in defense uh, don't give too much space to especially the front three for Liverpool uh, Firmino, Mane and uh, of course Salah uh, I think the main aspect 
aspect of the game is going to be Salah versus Kolarov. That could be a big challenge for Kolarov to try and stop Salah. I think uh, the Liverpool defense have to deal with the offensive players of Roma. So it's going to be two teams who are strong in different areas. But I think the defense of both teams is going to be a crucial point here. Who is going to be the best on the day? Um, obviously, I think the first leg is going to be dominated by Liverpool in possession. Although I know Roma style of play is keeping possession, trying to to keep the ball uh, as much as possible and work himself from the back or to the front and got get a chance and score a goal. But uh, at Anfield, it won't be more space. Uh, the high pressure of the Liverpool players is going to be there. Klopp is 100% certainty going to tell the players to press high, put the pressure on the defenders of Roma, uh, and try to get the ball in in good positions so they can get a chance or maybe even score a goal. Uh, so the away game is going to be totally different for Liverpool. Uh, the game at Olympico is going to be different, but in this game, the important thing for Roma, uh, for sorry, it's so hard with these two <laughs> these two teams, man. Oh, wow. I think for Liverpool side, they need to keep going. They need to put pressure on the Roma for sure. Uh, get the front players going, get the fans going, and uh, get the players going. A lot of energy, aggression in the, in the trying to retain the ball and put the Roma players under pressure from from the first whistle uh, and take the chances. Uh, Roma will get some chances. Hopefully, Van Dijk is going to be on fire as it, like it's been. The other players are going to be the same, uh, Trent, uh, Lovren, uh, Robertson, um, Cardis hopefully have a, have a good day as well. Um, so yeah, the Liverpool defence needs to be on, on, on their toes because although I think Liverpool will have more chances, Roma will have some chances and we need to be ready for that. Roma, simply stay compact, take control of the ball when you can, uh, calm, the fo calm the pressure down. Take your time and, and take your chances. And if you get an away goal, brilliant. I mean, that's amazing for you guys. And so, but overall, it's going to be an exciting game for me personally, for the fans, for any neutral, because this is a game really people want to watch. Now there's a freaking plane coming. Messed up my. There you go. There you see it. Hey. Yeah. I'm doing it outside as you can see. I mean this is Doha. It's not a bad view. Not a bad view at all. So so when people ask me on Twitter who I want to win, what's the results gonna be? You gotta understand is I played seven years for Liverpool had the best years of my life in my career, winning the Champions League, the FA Cup, and everything else. And the fans were br brilliant to me. But then I go to Roma, and the way the fans at Roma took care of me meant a lot. I mean, I came there, didn't speak Italian, they didn't speak English, the players. I played with Totti, the god of Rome. Um, so, we, and the three years I was there, I managed to play with some amazing players. The fans really took care of me and uh, gave me some nicknames I will never forget the Gladiator, Thunderbolt. Uh, when you go to Rome and the fans give your name, the Gladiator, it means you made it. So for me, it's impossible to say who I want to win. Yes, I played seven years in Roma, only three years in Rome, uh, no, seven years in Liverpool and only three years in, in Roma. But the love for both clubs is the same. And I'm sorry if the Liverpool fans get offended or whatever, but I can't choose. But I'm gonna be, if I have a bet on something, which certain people do, I think the first leg is gonna end with 2 1 win for Liverpool. And the reason I say that is because it's a home game. They will dominate. Uh, I might be wrong, of course, uh, but if it's 2 1. Who would be more happy with the result? I think Liverpool will be happy because they won the game. They can go to Rome. They will, they will have a feel that they can always score in Rome. 
Roma will be happy because it's an away goal and they can only need only to win 1-0. But remember, Roma beat Barcelona. They lost 4-1 in the first ga game and won 3 at home. So they can beat anybody. Liverpool beat City, they can beat anybody. It's going to be an exciting game. My guess, 2-1 in the first leg, uh, which will make it very interesting, interesting for the second leg. I'm going to the second leg at the Stadio Olimpico. Can't wait to be there. And I promise you, Olimpico will be firing. It'll be an atmosphere like no nowhere else apart from Anfield. So, Roman players, enjoy Anfield on European night. It's going to be incredible atmosphere. And I'm going to do a preview for the second leg. But this is the first game, the Liverpool Roma game that counts. Enjoy it. It's going to be unbelievable players. This is what we miss when you don't play anymore, these kind of games. Um, and good luck to both teams, both managers, both fans. Uh, so my thoughts have been done and dealt with now. Might be totally wrong, but to the fans of both teams, uh, this is my heart talking. I can't choose between the sides who I want to go through. Only thing I say, I'm really happy that one of my former teams is going to be in the final. Uh, and I hope for two very good games, entertaining games, a lot of goals and the fans having a great time, giving a great atmosphere and for both clubs, show the world how nice our cities are. So good luck and I'll see you next week before the second leg and my preview there. Hasta la vista!